Hey everyone, I'm back to share some cards that I've made. Uh, these are Christmas and July cards. So I got down this rabbit hole where I saw some dies that I wanted to use last year and had to put them away because I didn't use them. And then of course I got into this whole making stuff. So this is one of those situations where you're cleaning your craft room and you start to get into something else. And that's what happened here. So Christmas in July, um, I made four cards and I used a lot of different products for this. So let me just start out with um, the first one. So for this, I used my Distress Ink. Um, this is a regular Distress Ink, the Black Soot. I always use this when I'm doing Night Sky because it is a more of a transparent rather than opaque look. So the color that's underneath will come through. And that's the reason why I use the regular Distress Ink as opposed to the Oxide in Black Soot. And then the other two colors that I used are the Chip Sapphire and the Blueprint Sketch. Both are Distress Oxides. And this was for the Night Sky. And then the dye that I use is this one right here. And this dye is actually from a company in Germany. And this is the name of the company. And this is in German. I do have family that is Austrian. And I also have a, a family member who does speak German because he's a German professor. So um, I think my husband and his other three brothers are actually, um, their father was Austrian. So they all speak German to some degree. <laughs> Let me put it that way. So this is um, Happy Holiday. I actually did the translation because I'd never took German when I was in high school or college. So um, this is the name of the dye if you're looking for it. And then um, again, there's the company. So if you just look on uh, Google that name, you should find it pretty easily. Um, so this is the dye that I use. This is from the same company, by the way. So anyway, here is that card spending too much time on the details, right? So for this card, I also used a paper tray ink stamp set. This is the um, Pen to Elegance Christmas, I believe. So that is uh, heat embossed in silver after I die cut it in the white and it's popped up a little bit with some foam tape. So I did um, the background first, then I did the little dots here using some titanium white Daniel Smith watercolors. Uh, then I die cutted the, this round die here using this round die here. And it's actually, you can see that the blue layer is, you know, got the die cut in it. And then I die cut it again in white and put it on top. So that is the front of the card. I don't think I've done the, oh yeah, I did do the inside. I took the actual, um, die cut that I made and put it on the inside. So I have a stamp from Simon Says Stamp that has this Happy Christmas um, in like a big circle form. And I don't know if I have it here. Because I have a whole bunch of stamps that I just decided I would pull and use finally. Oh, here it is. It's called... Do no, it is called Circle Sayings Holiday. And I used that second to the largest circle there um and so there's that die cut that i actually um cut out the first time and i just kind of cut it in half and put it on the actual crease of the card i just thought it would make it nice for the inside to have the sentiment something different so you can write above and below so that's the first card the second card i did was this one so this one has um, three dies that I got in a set recently, um, and then this is a fourth one. So I'll show you um, those two die sets that I have. Um, but it uses paper from this Mag Believe in Magic from first edition, some non-traditional Christmas colors. And uh, I just tied a little silver thread here and popped the um, Merry Christmas up. So pretty simple. Um, this is some linen cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. It's um, kind of an off-white color. Um, 
but I used that as a background since I had it laying around from some other card that I had made. So that's the full card. And the dies that I used, this one right, this, this set of four here is where I got the three dies from. And you can see it's a snowflake, mountain set, snowman, and then hat and mittens. And I used some diamond stickles on it a little bit just to, to kind of make it sparkle. I don't know if you can see that because it's so, it's so tiny that it's just a little detail. Um, and then here is the company that it's from. That That's the name. This is a French company, Simply Graphic. Um, that's where this die set comes from. And then the Merry Christmas is actually a, another die set from the same German company. Um, here's the packaging. So you can see um, this is the die set here that I used the Merry Christmas from. I did also use this bottom one here for something else. So you can see it doesn't actually cut the, the words out. All it does is make the impression on the paper. So you actually have to cut the strip through, you know, a trimmer or something like that. So that's the second card I did. Pretty simple, you know, no fuss, no muss, right, Jake? Um, the third card I did is, again, using the same set here that I just shared. Um, but I also used uh, another set from the company. This is um, a, a German Christmas village. They're very popular in Europe. I don't know if... Um, it is so much here in the United States, but I guess if you have a lot of German ancestry in a certain area, then you probably will have a Christmas village. But um, I cut all of these, and I think I was able to fit three of them on my card front. So um, you've got a, a little hut for uh, mold wine. You have a little house here. This is, um, I don't know what this was intended to be, but it's cute. Um, this one is for gingerbread, Liebkuchen, and then this one's for nutcrackers. This is the one I did not use, get a chance to use, so I do have that die cut. So here is the card that I made, and this, again, this background comes from the same paper pad that I shared, and what I did was I took some card bases that I bought from Hobby Lobby because this craft color is a very good color for gingerbread men. Um, I always look for the nice darker brown color for gingerbreads. So I, I die cut that card base because of the color um, with each of the dies. And then I um, adhered each one down to the card front. Uh, for this one, I have some little pop dots right behind the shutters. And I'll bring it closer so you can see this. Um, I did use uh, a Stampin' Up! ink pad, the Whisper White. Now... Out of all the white colors that I have, white ink pads that I have, I think I actually like this the best. And partly because you don't have to ink up the whole ink pad when you get this. It's not inked. You get this in the refill. And this seems to hold up very well in terms of over time. The ink doesn't dry up as much. So I do like this one if anybody's looking for a white ink pad. Now, stamping with it, I don't know how good it is. I used my ink dauber for this, the little finger kind. I don't find that I usually stamp well with white. I usually will heat emboss with white if I want a sentiment in white. So this is great for things like this where you're just going to give you the idea of snow or... Um, you know, um, a dusting of flour or something like that. So I did use it around the edges of the card as well as the little buildings. And you can see in the wreath here. So all of these dies that I have in the set actually were cut. Um, and the, uh, the, the fourth Nutcracker house you don't see because it wouldn't fit. And then, of course, I shared with you this particular die as well. It's from the same company. So that is the third card. Uh, and then the last one I have is um, using this. Um, and there's a lot of sets here. Have to wipe that stuff off. Um, th these sets all come from different places. This is a paper tray ink set, I believe. Um, and then these two, this one, or three, I'm sorry. This one right here, the mountains with the little um, tram, the little skiers, 
and the um, circle here with the words this is Christmas blessings in German those come from the German company that I shared with you already and then I had to use my um, circles die from Spellbinder because what happened is because these are from different companies I found that this particular die, which is the snowfall background, fits inside of the circle. So it's slightly smaller than the original circle. And then this one, which is from the same company as this, it is um, exactly the size, the same radius of the circle there. But it's bigger than the snowfall one. So I had to cut it down a little bit um, using another circle um, to, to make them match up. So that is why I used my Spellbinder circles. Um, for this card. So here's the card. Um, this one is kind of a window card. Uh, there's the um, Christmas blessings sentiment on the outside. And then of course I cut that, it cut that circle. And then I placed the snowfall background, which I did um, using my distress inks. So tumble glass and broken china. And then the third color, Mermaid Lagoon, was used for the snowflakes. And the snowflakes, again, are from the same stamp set from Simon Says Stamp um, that I shared earlier. And so here is the finished card. So I put some snowflakes on the outside, and um, I'm going to put a sentiment on the inside. I haven't figured out yet if I want to curl it around. So what I, I want is a sentiment on the inside, but I don't want it to show... From the front i want it to be down below or above the actual circle here or i might just leave it because there's very little room to write your actual message to the recipient so i might just leave it without the sentiment since it's one of these types of cards so that's my fourth card and i hope you enjoyed my share and i will be back with more thanks for watching bye